Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library, and I love my library card. Why? Because I like to read so many different kinds of books. And with my library card, I can go to the library and get any book that I want to read. So today we're going to celebrate Library Card Sign Up Month with a story. I'm going to show you how to make some books using just one sheet of paper, which is kind of cool. And I'm also going to tell you the details about a contest that you can enter. But first, I'm going to start with a story about a girl named Lily, and she loves to read. So her mother gets her her library card, and she loves the library so much, people call her Library Lily. So let's get started with Library Lily. Library Lily by Jillian Shields, illustrated by Francesca Chessa. Erdman Books for Young Readers. When Lily learned to read, her mom was very pleased. She took Lily to the library and got her a library card. Lily was so excited. There were fat books, thin books, great enormous square books, old books, new books, and furry, touchy-feely books. Going to the library was like going on an adventure. The trouble was, once Lily started to read, she couldn't stop. She read at night under the blankets, and the great sea monster rose up from the waves. Lily, said Mom, aren't you asleep yet? She read in the morning when she was brushing her teeth. The rare lesser Amazonian snake lays its eggs. I need the bathroom, Lily. When her dinner was ready, she forgot to eat. Until that moment, I, Herbert Wobble Smythe, had never seen a ghost. Lily, please eat up. And when her mom spoke to her, she just didn't hear. Long, long ago, far, far away, there was once a perfect... Oh, Lily, laughed mom. Lily read and read and read. There goes Library Lily, people began to say, always has her head in a book. Lily read all the way through a sizzling summer, an awesome autumn, and a wonderful winter, and when spring came round right again, she didn't notice. She was in a beautiful dream. She was reading. One sunny morning, Lily's mom took her to the park. Why don't you go and play? Mom asked. But I want to finish my story, said Lily. It's such an exciting adventure. Maybe you'll have an adventure in the park, smiled Mom. So Lily wandered over to the playground and read the signs. That didn't take long. She was just wondering what else she could find to read when someone called out. Hey, what are you doing? Reading, of course, said Lily. Ah, oh, reading's boring, said the upside down voice. In fact, I hate reading. <gasps> hate reading, gasped Lily. What do you like? Oh, lots of things, the upside-down person said. Playing, climbing, exploring. I'm Millie, said Millie. I'm Lily, said Lily. Millie grinned. Would you like to climb my tree? Lily scrambled up the tree to join Millie. From the top, they could see the green park, the busy streets, the library, and the town all spread out below them like a picture. Wow, breathed Lily. It's a whole world out there, said Millie. There's a whole world in here too, exclaimed Lily, pulling out a book from her bag. You'll see. And so all summer long, Millie took Lily exploring. It was fun. Lily took Millie on adventures too. 
Millie decided that books weren't boring after all. They were great. And what was extra special was doing everything together. There goes Library Lily, people began to say, with her best friend Millie. And what did they have in their hands? It's their library card. What shall we do when we grow up? said Lily to her best friend one day. Be explorer, said Millie. There's a whole world out there. So that's what they did, and when they came home again, Lily wrote down all their adventures. In the most marvelous, magical, amazing, perfect book. And you might just find it in your library. The end. That was a nice story. Both Library Lily and her friend Millie discovered that their library card could take them on adventures in books and adventures together. In fact, they even made their own book about their adventures together, which is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you some books that you can make just using one sheet of paper, which is kind of cool. And who knows, maybe one day when you grow up, one of your books will be in the Oosterhout Free Library. Now that would be really cool. So let's get started with making some books. Some of the cool books that you can make using just one sheet of paper are the what I call the no cutting M-shaped books. It's kind of like an accordion book, but it's called M-shaped because when you look at it from the side, it looks like the letter M. And like I said, that requires no cutting. That's pretty cool. And then a variation on that is called the new and improved with the flap book, a mini pocket book, a book with little pockets in it, and what I call the smushy eight page book. Now I'll include a link in the description box below for the instructions. And um, just watch the short little video after this so you can see them demonstrate it. Let's get started. First we're going to make the M shape no cutting book. Uh, and we, I call it M shape because if you turn it sideways, it does kind of look like the letter M. And all you need for that is one sheet of white copy paper. You can use bigger if you like, but copy paper is all you need. And you're going to make um, a fold. And this is the basis for all the other books that we'll be making. And a fun way of remembering the fold is this is the hot dog fold straight across, and then this is the hamburger fold, because it looks like a square, almost rectangle, like a hamburger. And so you're going to take it when it's in the um, hamburger fold position, and then you're going to fold one end like this up, and the other end up back like this. Now, I heard someone refer to this as a burrito fold, which I think is just kind of fun because you can imagine your, all your burrito items right in the middle there. Um, so when you have that, you're going to take it back up like this, back into the hot dog, and then you're just going to fold it like an accordion. And there you have your six page booklet with no cutting or glue involved. Pretty cool. I'm gonna show you another variation on this right now. So this next book that I'm going to share with you is a Lift the Flap book, which I call the new and improved Lift the Flap book, which I made into a joke book. And for this, you'll need some scissors because there is some cutting involved. But all you have to do is make another one of these um, books, the M books that we just made. But you're going to cut this time just on this first half, on the crease, just on the top first half. Cut on the creases there, then you fold it back up, and you have a Lift the Flap book. I have some funny library jokes that I'll share with you so you can see how it works. 
What did the book-loving frog say at the library? What do you think he said? Read it. Read it. Read it. <laughs> See, he likes to read a lot of books. <laughs> Why does the elephant use her trunk as a bookmark? Oh, an elephant uses her trunk as a bookmark? Why would she do that? So she knows where she stopped reading. <laughs> That's silly. In what section of the library can you hear a snake? Hmm. Where would you hear the snake? With the history books. <laughs> yeah, I know it's silly. And the last one, where do books sleep? Between their covers. <laughs> So you can go ahead and use your imagination to make any kind of lift the flap book that you want to make. Now this book is I call the Nine Mini Pocket Book. And it has cool little pockets that you can put if you have stickers in there or little cutouts in there, any kind of thing that you can use your creativity to put in your little pocket book. Yeah. And you make it just the same way by making that same like M fold book, but this time is different that you fold up, make it equal, it doesn't have to be any particular size, but just as long as it's equal on both sides, fold up the edges. And so then when you fold it back together, back and forth, back and forth, you have pockets and on the front cover you can take scissors and cut the very first one off right at the fold and that way you have the cover of your book pretty cool right now all these little mini books that you made will give you six pages that you can create on. But if you want to make eight pages, I can call this one the smushy eight page book. And it does revolve a little bit of cutting, but it's kind of cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to make the book like you normally would. And you see you have your eight, eight sections here. So you're gonna fold it up. Now, after you've done the groovy, the fold, you're going to fold it back to hamburger style. And you're just going to cut on the fold, which would be in the middle, right, not through, but right to here, right to there. So when you open it up again, you're going to get this. So you cut hamburger style, open it hot dog, and then you squish, here's the squishy part, like that. And then you have fold it, fold it, and there's your eight page booklet, including the cover in the back, of course. So that's a, a very simple way for you to make a couple different books. Uh, using just one sheet of paper. I hope you enjoyed that. Before you go, I wanted to share with you a cool contest that we're doing right now. Send us a picture of yourself with your library card or a stuffed animal with your library card to childrens at luzernlibraries.org. So email us that picture and you'll be entered into a contest for a cool prize. We hope to see your faces, or you can even stop by the library. Uh, we're open Monday through Thursday from 9 to 7 p.m., Fridays from 9 to 4, and now Saturdays from 10 to 2. Hope you had fun and keep creating. Bye.